It's raining so much right now. You guys hear that thunder? Okay, that should be enough. But yeah, uh, let's jump right into my cut comp, shall we? Hey guys, Tyoxy here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys a cut commentary, and I'm going to be playing some Black Ops 1 for this video, mainly because I tweet out on Twitter, you know, like asking like for a video suggestion or just something like that, and um, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what's me, man? please not be that loud, but yeah, um, basically I tweet out like saying something like and that I need video suggestions for today's video, and then Dizer, as you guys probably know, um, is one of my friends. He oh, tweeted back at me uh, just saying do a story, and then I said like, oh, what game mind, should I play, and he said BO1. So, good, good. I'm playing it mainly for Dizer, you know, I didn't really feel like doing BO2 today, kind of wanted to just switch it up a bit. So, as you guys did see that little intro, it is raining right now, and it kind of, like where I live in California, it doesn't really rain that often, if that makes sense. It's usually sunny, like just majority of the year, like it'll be like fall. And it'll still be like sunny, it'll be spring, it'll still be sunny, winter, it'll still be sunny. But it's weird because it's summer and now it's like raining and it's all weird and yeah. Um and so it's it's also really weird because it's really humid outside, but it's raining and it's just it's so weird. So I thought you know might as well just throw a little clip of that like in the beginning because you know just why not? Berlin Wall. I always thought this was a pretty cool map. Like how you can like go on here and then get like shot i always try to like snipe that like snipe those because i always thought that there were people in there but there wasn't oh my gosh i think i'm host yeah i'm, I'm host and i'm gonna make everyone lag if my sister or brother are watching netflix that's pretty cool no it's host migrating are you serious wow i can never be a host and then one time i am and Okay. Yeah, basically guys, because you know, as I said, I was probably going to be doing a story because of what Dizer tweeted out. I'm going to be telling you guys just like two, I guess you could say embarrassing things that happened to me over the East Coast trip. I don't actually know what I'm going to title this, but yeah. So the first story, or I guess embarrassing moment you could say, is that I was, I think it was second to last day, third to last day, I don't remember. But I remember we were in Washington DC and we were like... Uh, waiting for like our bus to come or something or, and we were like when I anytime when I refer to we I mean like the whole group I was with and we were just like walking like down like a street you know getting ready to like meet up with our bus and out of nowhere like I'm just walking and there, I guess there was some random like sign like attached to like a pole and I just like I smack like I went just like like right into the pole like my forehead straight into the pole why do I keep saying pull? Right into the sign. And it was really embarrassing because a few people actually saw, kind of started laughing at me. And then it was during night, which was good because I got like a big bump on like the right side of my forehead. And it was all like red and stuff. But the next day when I woke up, because like I thought, you know, it's not gonna be that bad, it's just gonna be a bump. But when I woke up, I had like a cut, I guess. And I started like getting a scab. I was like, okay, that sucks because that means I have a chance of getting a scar on my forehead. And it kind of sucks because a few days ago when I was taking a shower, like the scab fell off. So now I have like this random like inch and a half line of just whiteness on my forehead. And it just looks really weird. And it was just so embarrassing that like I, I didn't even see the sign and I, I just bumped right into it. It's like it just appeared out of nowhere when I like was walking by I don't know how to explain it and then the second embarrassing story that I guess happened over the trip was I was like it was on the plane ride back to like from uh, Denver to you know back at you know in California and basically what happened was uh, I was taking a nap and you know when you're on a plane you can like pull down like a little tray thingy that's like on the back of like the seat of the person in front of you if that makes sense so you can like pull down a tray and it's mo mostly made for like if you're gonna like eat something or um, if you're going to you know like have like a drink or just you're gonna you know read something and you want to like set it down you know it's not really made for you to like 
lay down on, but you know, I, I use it just to like take naps, I guess. So I rested my head down and I started like my playlist that I was listening to and I lay down and closed my eyes and it seemed like it was maybe five minutes, but I guess it was like the, my playlist was over and it was like two hours. And I realized that, you know, we were we were arriving in like 10 minutes. So the flight attendant, because, you know, whenever you're going to land, the flight attendant, like a flight attendant comes around and you know, tells everyone, you know, uh, recline your seats back up to like this normal like position and the trays up, get, make sure your seatbelts are on and all that. We're going to be landing in a little bit. So I was like really like asleep and Whenever I sleep, I always drool because I always like have my mouth open. If that makes sense, it really sucks because it's really embarrassing. As what I'm gonna explain right now. Oh, I'm one bar. So the flight attendant comes around and is trying to wake me up while I'm like asleep, and I have music like loud in my ears. And just keep in mind that I was in the middle of like two people. That, like one person was on my left, one person was on the right, and they were both like from the group. And then on the row right next to us were like three girls who also went on the group. And so I guess the flight attendant like woke me up. And when I like got up, if that makes sense, like like when I put my head up, I just had drool just coming down from my face. I just had like this huge drool line, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Just like dripping like from my mouth down through my chin. And, like it was like dripping off my chin in front of like all these people and the flight attendant. And to make things even worse, I like, you know, I wiped it off with like my sweatshirt. And when I like was putting up the tray, I noticed that there was drool all over. Oh my gosh, there was drool all over. What the heck? Did you guys see my body? But yeah, there was drool dripping down all over the tray. And there was this huge, just like, like little mini pool of drool all over this tray. And it started dripping off of it. And. Oh, it was just so embarrassing because everyone was looking at me and all this stuff. So, yeah, guys, I guess that's a video. I'm starting to really lag. I guess my sister is probably watching Netflix or something. Yeah, I can't take this. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You know, just sharing those two little embarrassing moments. Because, you know, why not? You know, might as well just tell you guys. Hopefully I explained everything too well and I didn't like ramble on too much because the recording time of this so far has been 9 minutes and a half. And yeah. And also really quick I apologize for not uploading yesterday. I didn't get a chance to actually make a video. So yeah. I guess I'm just going to do my outro now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys want to hear more stories like this. And uh, make sure you leave a like guys. Oh yeah. Really yeah make sure you leave a like guys. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day guys. And I will see you guys later.